So the summer is nearly here, so that means lots more gigs, lots more festivals and lots more events in Merseyside to tell you about. Yes, from the River Festival to Brasilica, Sound City to Liverpool Loves, Farm Feast to Liverpool Calling. We have got so much coming up this summer. It's going to be a busy one and this is the only TV show anywhere in the whole wide world that lets you know exactly what is going on event-wise in Merseyside. Yes, and this time we're at the gorgeous Alma de Cuba on Seal Street to bring you your show for your city. Love it in here. It's the guide with Jay and Ellie right here on Bay TV Liverpool. Should we do it? You should do it. Let's do it. Welcome to The Guide with Jay and Ellie. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you so much for all of your support. Can you believe we are 23 episodes in? Really? Yes. Wow, that is nearly as old as Corrie. I know, we should start selling hot pots, We certainly fair. should do, Betty. Anyway, big, big show lined up and some big events happening. Yes. Kicking off tomorrow, light night, Friday 15th of May. The River Festival kicks off tomorrow for seven weeks. And the carnival is coming yeah. to town. Brasilica, all the details you need on them three events coming up. And because of Brasilica, yeah. we had to come from our favourite South American restaurant and bar, Alma de Cuba. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous in here. Did you know it used to be a church? And in fact, there's even an altar over there. What? Yep. Oh my God, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> Why? Because the last time I was in here, I shouldn't have done half as many tequilas as I should. <laughs> it's a church. Yes, it is. Don't worry, though, confession's that way. I better make it. Actually, no, no, don't go, because we've got a show to do. You'll be in there all day. Mm, good point. Anyway, big show lined up for you. We've got a first ever girl band on first the guys. ever. They are called Ego. Yep. And they're brilliant. Loads of gig and fezzy news coming your way as well. And <gasps> look who it is. Ah, it's the dancers from Brasilica. Yay. I love that. Little round of applause for our Brazilian dancers. <laughs> Amazing. We've got the girls from Basilica and the dancers from here at Alma de Cuba. Indeed. And with them is, is the queen of Basilica, mm. um, Simone <laughs> Reeves. How are we? Very good. Excited? Excited. So Basilica's back bigger and better and a little bit different as well. Yes, a little bit different, so don't be looking for the stage, for instance, on uh, Williamson Square. It's this gone. time around it's gone. We want a truer feel to the carnival, like in Rio. So you're going to be up close and personal with bands and dances and all sorts in Church Street, as well as in the Casimir for more live entertainment. That will be Saturday the 18th during the day. So Saturday the 18th of July. Yes, yeah. parade, very important as well. Slice change on the route back to the old days in 2008 where we go through the Chinatown okay. and then the after party in the beautiful Baltic Quarter. So very excited as well as bringing a huge famous singer from Brazil cool. called Marcos Valle. Who is Marcos going to be Valle. Yes, you wow. can Google him up. He's going to be performing at the Casimir, so we're very excited about that on the 24th of June. So he's leading up. That's to one of the lead up events, isn't it? And yes. there are all other fringe events in the build department. Much more films uh, and entertainment for kids, uh, workshops. So all you can find on our Facebook page or our website. And okay. you teach Brazilian dancers as well. You've yes. got your own school. Yes, you can see the beautiful dancers here. They go through the samba class, and then eventually, when they got the spark, they start dancing for us. Um, and we do all the classes through the year in Liverpool, Mondays and Tuesdays. Okay, we'll tweet a little link to that now at the guide, Bay TV, and also get there if you want to win some free dance lessons. I'm going to apply for this. He I should I really them. have I need them. He doesn't care. So I'll tell us what you win. I'll you later. Yeah. You're going to win two people, um, pa a free pass for a Monday class. One hour long as well, you can stay after the, the class and practice your live dance moves to the Samba School. What an experience. It's amazing. That's so if you great. get on Twitter now at the guide Bay TV, just retweet me and Ellie making holy shows of ourselves trying to <laughs> Brazilian dance uh, and you could be in with a chance. <laughs> Talking of making holy show of ourselves, can, can we teach Ellie some moves? Because she's not the best. Uh, I'm not that dancer. bad. I'm pretty good. So okay, let's we... not fight our judges. <laughs> let's go. Let you see this. Okay, so let's start the easy way, pretending we can do it. Right leg okay. and bounce. 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 Bounce, use your arms. Oh my God, let's moving on. 
Shake it really fast. So we're shaking the booty. Shake it. Come on, we won't be Brazilian without the shaking. We can pull the muscles. She wins. She wins. Yeah, more classes for you. I'm going to leave you girls to it. I'm going to get some more Brazilian dancing. Simone Reeves and the girls from Brazilica and Alma de Cuba. Thank you. We look forward to Brazilica. Oh my God, from. Really good. That wasn't that boss, wasn't that amazing? Really from good. bouncing me booty oh, to fuck. my favourite Scouse girl band since it's I'm a kitten. Yeah. Ego are with us. How are we, girls? Are we okay? Fabulous, thank you, yeah. So tell us about Ego for anyone that doesn't know, because you guys have all been on the telly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we started off on Britain's Got Talent, but we danced as MD Productions, we danced for Miguel's company. So. This is Miguel De Foro, by yeah, the way, Miguel who's Deforo. on the show a little bit later on. Yes. Uh, so since then, you've kind of just formed the girl band. Yeah, That's well, literally, we just come off the show and literally it was all about being fierce and fabulous. So us five, four, so let's get together and may as well give it a try and see how it went. I've got to ask you, because girl bands are famous, especially in Liverpool, um, for falling out on the calf fights. Do we all get on? <laughs> Any calf fights ever? <laughs> No comments. No. No <laughs> it's all scratch marks down there, heavy. Yeah, so I think, do you know what? Even like, there is a few little things, but we're just we've known each other for a long time, so mm. we can you know we can, can deal little, with each other. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. we bounce stuff. off each other. So like when I'm in and in, in and we just like shake it off and yeah. back to normal, shake, isn't it? shake it off, boss. Well, <laughs> gigs you're doing. Everything this summer, you're mm -hmm. chocker busy. You do all the big parties and stuff in Liverpool, mm -hmm. so people are getting to know you. Are you finding other people are recognizing you or anything like that? No, um, no, <laughs> you will, they will be after this because yeah, you're on the guide. Yeah, and what about this summer? Is it a busy one? Yeah, we're absolutely chocker this summer. I mean, we've got festivals, we've got loads of gigs, we're working on some some new stuff that we can't really say. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's just going to be massive. We're busy, busy. OK, good stuff. You're going to sing for us later. What are we going to hear? Yeah, we're going to do, um, do Drummer Boy. Yeah. Drummer Boy? Brill. Will you do some Brazilian dancing as well? Yeah, just you won't, you. You won't be as good as me. <laughs> you won't be as good as me. Uh, listen, Ellie now is fresh from making a show of herself as well. She just sat over there mm -hmm. talking about light night. Can't wait to see Ego perform later in the show. I've seen them perform before, so you're definitely in for a treat. Right now, though, we're talking all things Light Night. Now, Light Night starts tomorrow night, the 15th of May, and I'm joined by one of the organisers, Christina Grogan. Christina, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for Now, for those who don't know, what is Light Night? Because it's been running now for six years, hasn't it? That's right, yeah. Light Night's a festival that takes place annually in May, and it's a celebration of Liverpool's arts and culture offer. So, I mean, we know how good the offer it's is so here. good. <laughs> um, but a lot of people don't, and a lot of people who live in the area might not realise what's on their doorstep and what's free every day of the year. Yeah. So Light Night's an opportunity for everyone to come out with the friends and family and celebrate the city's arts offer in going to galleries, museums late at night and see lots of special events. And so there is so much happening. I mean, the, the, the programme is absolutely jam-packed. Tell us some of the highlights for, for people to go and see. Sure, yeah. So um, really it kicks off a seven-week series of events called One Magnificent City. And the theme that we're exploring this year is looking to the new world. OK. So people can enjoy exhibitions, street theatre, performance, choirs, all kind of exploring that theme. And some of the big events are a big participation dance event at the yeah. Town Hall. We've got big dance at Anglican Cathedral as well. Yeah. So even if you don't know how to dance, just, just get along, get along <laughs> and, and join in. We've got some light projections happening outside Fact and uh, John Lennon building. Um, we've got some a massive performance of choirs all night at the Brilliant. Metropolitan Cathedral. We've never had them open before. Um, special events at the Cunard building and the Maritime Museum. So as it really well. is taking over the city, isn't it? Yeah, we've got over 56 locations, over 130 free events. Um, so yeah, we're and off camera event. before you were telling me something about space suits, men in space. What tell us about that? Yeah, there's a special commission for light night called Hex Light Division. Okay, bit of a strange name. I think Hex comes from the idea of a hexagon. Right. We'll have eight performers in a formation, and they will have these very fascinating 3D sculptural headdresses on, which are illuminated in time with the music. That's so crazy. So the lights will change colours, and they're pretty amazing. I've seen that a few. That sounds and, incredible. Yeah. And they're moving over the city, aren't they? That's right. So they're performing four times through the night. So one during the daylight 
and then as the night falls, yeah. the masks will really come to life with light and sound. Um, they'll be performing at the Pier Head, outside the Anglican Cathedral, um, on William Brown Street, outside the Walker Art Gallery, and at, outside the VGM. Incredible. I could talk to you about this all day, but we just don't have time. If people want to find out more about what's happening and what they can get to, how can they do that? On the night, you can pop along to the hub, yeah. which is um, on Mount Pleasant, on the way up to the Metropolitan Cathedral. There'll be big pink flags outside, so you won't miss it. <laughs> you can pick up free guides in there all night and also kind of buy merchandise to support the festival. Yeah. And you can go to the website as well, which is lightnightliverpool.co.uk. Brilliant stuff. I cannot wait for it. I've been before and I can tell you, you will not be sorry if you go. It's such an incredible experience <laughs> getting it in there. Thank you so much for chatting to Thank us. As Christina said, Light Night kicks off tomorrow night, Friday the 15th of May, starts a seven week celebration at one magnificent city. On the 25th of May, the three queens are part of that celebration. They are coming to the River Mersey and we'll find out more about that after the break. As well as that, we have the guide listings and music from Ego. Welcome back to The Guide on Bay TV Liverpool with Jay and Ellie. It's good to have you. Thanks for joining us. And it's good to be here at my favourite Samba de Janeiro themed Cuban restaurant, uh, Alma de Cuba Olé. on Seal Street. Olé. Olé. Is that Brazilian? Yeah, I can I think be. it is. It's Cuban even, isn't it? Yeah. It's all the same. <laughs> anyway, we've got great music coming up from Ego, a great girl band, and news on the three queens sailing down the Mersey. Yeah, before all that, we need to tell you about the best gigs and events in the city. And we've got to start with Sound City. Can you believe it's next weekend? To get you guys in the mood, head to Bay TV Liverpool's YouTube channel right now and see our Sound City preview special. We'll tweet that now at the Guide Bay TV. Uh, Balance of Asti and the vaccines, the flaming lips. We've got the big conference day on Thursday, Titanic Hotel and the docks are going to be amazing. And of course, the Guide gagging in on the action. We've got three special shows to bring you, uh, kicking off next Saturday night, 8pm, uh, and the following night, and the night after that too, yeah. full of Sound City. Loads on the way with that. Yes, uh, as well as Sound City moving on. After that, Farm Feast have just announced their headliner. Wait for it. Go they on. have got The Farm. Wow! How good's that? They've got The Farm headlining at Claremont Farm on the 13th of June. As well as The Farm, they're going to have uh, Paddy Clegg, they're going to have Rose and Bloom, and they're going to have The Ragamuffins. Loads more of our favourites here on the guide. And... Jay and I will be hosting the We certainly will. Can't weekend. wait for Farm Feast. We're hosting all weekend. Yeah, it's it's going to be, be quality. Uh, something else happening. Liverpool Loves. It's happening start of August. Brand yeah. new festival. They've got a special night on the Friday, Friday 7th of August. Liverpool Loves Ireland. Love which we do. We celebrating do. our Irish roots and heritage yeah. in the big top on the Friday evening. Full of Irish music. Yeah. It's going to be great. So check that out. Yeah. Liverpool Loves Ireland. Yeah, and a new talent competition coming to the city. The best of Liverpool are searching for all kinds of talent. Magicians, jugglers, singers, dancers, whatever your talent may be, uh, you can enter now at thebestofliverpool.co.uk and the heats are going to be at the end of May. And I might do some Brazilian dancing yeah, on that one, I should do. Yeah. This, yeah. Uh... yeah, listen, get on Twitter, <laughs> at The Guide Bay TV. We're also on Facebook as well, The Guide Bay TV. Just give us a search, follow us and get all up to date on your yeah. latest end events and entertainment news. Yeah. So earlier I spoke to Christina Grogan about Light Night, which kicks off tomorrow night. That kicks off a seven-week celebration. Uh, and this is what happened when Jay spoke to Andy Redhead all about one of the events as part of that on the 25th of May the three queens now we're going to talk about the main event with me is angie redhead what's your title angie because this is a big job you've got on your hands yeah and it's just got bigger yeah. uh, i'm angie resident cruise and operations manager for liverpool so basically for the city i make sure that we have a very busy cruise shipping industry and obviously coming up you're going to be busier than ever you've yeah. got three of the biggest ships in the world sailing yeah. down our liverpool mersey yeah how are you going to do this well, um, I think we'll keep that for a surprise on the day, but needless to say, the planning has just been huge. From a marine point of view, three ships at that scale together in the Maisie has just been a logistical challenge, but one that everybody, all of our partners on the port side from the very start have just been keen to make sure that it happens. And what we've been able to put together, working very closely with Cunard, will just be magical on the day. How have you kept this a secret? Because you've been planning this for four years. Yeah. How have you kept it quiet? Four years, genuinely, since we got the first uh, inquiry from Cunard, which just literally said, quick question, can we get three queens in the river at the same time? And that was really the, the start of it. And uh, I am amazed how we've kept it a secret because I always say that the River Maisie is like Coronation Street. We <laughs> cannot keep anything quiet. But working with the Harbour Master, uh, and, and just keeping it very small, this group of people that could work out whether we can do it or not, 
um, has just been great. We knew we know that the, the plan is bulletproof. And once we knew that, we could actually start to bring in some additional mm. showbiz, if you like. Yeah. And this is where the whole idea of um, river dance or choreography of the vessels has come in, which has never been done with Cunard ships before. Uh -huh. Even though they've met in other places mm. around the world, they've never done these synchronised uh, manoeuvres, so it's just going to look spectacular. It's going to look amazing. Yeah. So let's talk about the day. What Magnificent City is, is a seven-week programme, yeah. as Ellie's just been saying. Just, just talk us really briefly through that. So, so it's not just about this one day. There's tonnes happening. There's, there? there's loads happening. And, and, and what we knew from very early on is that we had three queens meeting in May. But equally, you know, it's the, one, it's the 175 anniversary mm. of Cunard and passenger shipping. And the 4th of July is just as important day. That's the history. Uh, that's the day the first transatlantic crossing happened. And we've got QM2 recreating that transatlantic journey on the 4th of July. So, you know, with Culture Liverpool and the city, we deliver big events. Mm. And we just seem to have these two momentous events happening either end of a summer season. And uh, Claire McColgan and I, we kept referring, there's a, there's a bridge. We need to bridge mm. these two together. Um, and, and that's really what the, the base of One Magnificent City was. We brought in our cultural partners. And what a great bridge as well. Fantastic. But, you know, it, it came from our cultural partners. The content is great. So we've got, we've got Light Night, which yeah. we just heard about. The River yeah. Festival's a big yeah. part of this. Obviously, the, the weekend of the, the May yeah. bank holiday, the final bank holiday in May. Tell us, tell us about that, because the big event is on the Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. Tell us how it's going to work and what people should do to, to, to plan. Well, on, on the Sunday, QM2, uh, Queen Mary 2, largest ocean liner in the world at sea, she will arrive in Liverpool at 9 o'clock in the morning. We're encouraging a flotilla to arrival. We want people who own small vessels to accompany her as she sails down the river. She, she has her own audience be, just because of the sheer mm. scale of the ship, so we will... Um, be closing the road at the pier head. We've got all lovely street theatre and animation taking place. People will be able to enjoy their time at the waterfront. We've got a continental style market. We've got children's uh, fairground so rides. There's, there, isn't there's it? loads happening. Now and in the, the evening, well, in the evening, uh, the Amazing Graces projection show onto the Three Graces, which is just wow. special, which people will just love. We've lit up the pier head before, mm. but never, never like On this. this. Scale. Um, and then the next morning is really, that's where the event starts. So Queen Mary 2, she'll leave just before 11 o'clock in the morning from uh, Pier Head. She'll sail to New Brighton, and that's where she'll meet her two sister ships, Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria, and they will then sail in formation the length of so the river. So New Brighton's going to play a big part in this as well. New so Brighton. We want people on that side yeah. of the river and on this side yeah. of the river to, to be watching and celebrating. The, the scale of these ships, both sides of the Mersey, will prove to be spectacular viewing mm. areas. And we've worked really closely with Wirral and with Sefton to make sure that we've all got plans in place to make sure that everyone has a great view mm. and has a, and, and has a lovely time. Angie, thank you. No, Look thank forward you. to seeing you in May. Thank, thank you. you. Exciting stuff. Don't miss the Three Queens on the 25th of May. Right now, though, I am joined by Miguel DeFora. You might recognise Miguel uh, from the likes of Britain's Got Talent and shows such as that, but he's here because uh, you manage Ego, who are I on the show do. today, don't you? Yeah, so tell yeah, us about yeah. that. How did you find these girls? So, obviously, they've been dancers at MD Productions yeah. for some time, and the idea was to make a package that was as fierce as the dancers, and but sang, and that's what we've done. We yeah. made five of them, and they, um, they're doing amazing. They are doing amazing. You're working with them closely, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'll do everything with them from choreography to style. And to drive them round. Are you ever tempted to, to jump in and be like, to, yeah, well, in the rehearsals, <laughs> I often just do a little flick of me weave that I haven't got, but you know, um, yeah, it's I'm great. I'm determined to, to get my We're way getting in, in don't worry. Getting and as well in. as Ego, who are going to be performing at the end of the show, you also manage the ambition, don't you? I do, yeah. So we, tell us about that because they came up through. They come from the Emotions Project on okay. year one, yeah. um, nurtured them through that, and then just seen the talent and decided, yeah, we should sign them, definitely. And they're incredible. We've got them on the show in a few weeks as well. Yeah. We can't get enough of Miguel and his bands right now. <laughs> but they are the two acts that, that you manage. At the moment, and yeah. you mentioned that the ambition came through the Emotions, the Emotions Project. Project. For people at home who don't know, what is the Emotions That's Project? That's a project that I've been trying to put together for 12 years that basically nurtures the creative talent in any discipline, singing, dancing, acting, etc. Giving them a platform to shine. And we partnered with Kids Company in London and the Morgan Foundation. Yeah. Miguel, you are taking over the city. I'm and trying. from all of us on the guide and the whole of Liverpool, thank you so much for Thanks what you for do for the us. young people in the city. We really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks a lot.
Big well into Miguel de Foro. The girls are ready to play. Looking forward to this. Uh, should we stay for a dance and a little drink, maybe? Are we ever going to film anywhere that we don't stay for a drink and a dance afterwards? To be fair, our location manager keeps booking us into bars and pubs to film the show. Jay, so Jay, you are the location manager. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Ego are coming up in just a second, but we've got a big competition uh, to tell the viewers about. Yes, it's we huge. do. It is huge. Not only are we giving away a dance lesson for two uh, with the head of Brazilica, we're also giving away a meal for two with a bottle of wine right here at Alma de Cuba. All you need to do to get involved is follow us on Twitter at TheGuideBayTV, find the competition tweet, retweet it, or if you're on Facebook, give us a like, facebook.com forward slash TheGuideTV, uh, BayTV even. <laughs> find us, find the competition tweet and repost it. It's so simple. It's so Dead simple. Dead easy. Brazilian dance lesson. <laughs> Which is amazing, and a meal for two yeah. with wine at Alma de Cuba. What a prize. We're back next Thursday, 8.30. More gig news. Africa, oh yay. Yeah. Winners of Out on Stage 2015 on the show. Good it's going to be big. But now, though, uh, you heard them chatting to Jay early before. These girls are going to be absolutely huge. It's Ego. See you next week. Take care. As you approach me, I can feel the bass. But it's not to shake like an 808. I don't know what you've done to me. It must be in the air, cause I don't really care You look good enough to eat, baby won't you take a seat We can play by the book or we can freestyle